Jordan Michael Tuesday Show. Woo! Hey, I'm just tilling up the ground for the spring. We're getting ready to put our garden in here. It's a lot of work, but I love this time of year because we plant food, we grow it, and whoever helps me work will get to help me eat it too. Hey, Daddy, can I help? Sure, Ruthie. If you help me plant the seeds, then you can eat what's in the garden later. Having Ruthie plant the seeds in the ground while I rake will be a tremendous help, and she'll be able to eat some of the food and me too. These are disgusting. They don't taste like lettuce at all. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Hey, well, Ruthie, you actually don't eat the seeds, you plant them in the ground. Having Ruthie plant the seeds in the ground and me to rake them, well, we'll make a great team. If it, What are you doing, Ruthie? Ugh, it doesn't taste any better. It just tastes like gross and dirt. Now. Ruthie! Yeah, I have to bury it in the ground, then give it time, and then it'll produce fruit. <laughs> yes. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not getting this at all. I'm going to look for a tree that's already growing a sandwich. Ruthie! Don't worry, Daddy. I'll help you. OK. I love blueberries, strawberries, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, cheeseburgers. Pile it on deep, I say. Well, you certainly have a lot of enthusiasm. Nah, I just have a little runny nose. But I am so excited and ready to help. OK, well, go ahead and grab that shovel. OK and start turning over the soil. Um, question. When do we get to eat the food? Well, not till after a lot of hard work. Uh-oh. We're gonna get sweaty. Yikes. Some days we'll wanna quit. I'm feeling that. Some of these crops won't even produce until next year. What? It's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be <laughs> worth it. Don't worry, Daddy. I'll help you. Oh, good. Well, let's get our hands dirty. Dirty? What if I get my dress all dirty? Well, you might. What if I get dirt in my beautiful nail? It should come out. What if the crops fail? Huh? What if I'm doing the garden and I have to miss out on all my friends? Well, I... What if we don't have enough money to finish? What know. about hurricanes and tornadoes? What about locusts and wild honey? Wild honey? <sighs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I just need to make sure all these things happen first. <sighs> ah, well, I guess I'm not going to get any help today. And I guess they're not going to be eating from the garden food. We'll help you, Daddy. Ah, Abriel, Brianna. Now you guys know you can't eat the seeds, right? Right, right. And it may get difficult at times. We've got it. And you'll have to get dirty, and you may miss out on some things to get the reward of the garden. Check, and we're ready to go. Abriel, Brianna, I think we're going to have a good garden. You know, this silly little incident actually reminds me of a much more serious parable that Jesus taught. He talked about the sower in Matthew 13, 3 through 8. And he said, Behold, the sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell beside the road, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on the rocky places where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up because they had no depth of soil. But when the sun had risen, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. Others fell among the thorns, and the thorns came up and choked them out. And others fell on the good soil and yielded a crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is the one on whom the seed was sown beside the road. The one on whom seed was sown on the rocky places, this is the man who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy, and yet he has no firm root in himself, but is only temporary. And when affliction or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he falls away. And the one on whom seed was sown among the thorns, this is the man who hears the word, and the worry of the world and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. And the one on whom seed was sown on the good soil, this is the man who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and brings forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. You know, it can be so disheartening when we hear a Christian walk away from his or her faith in Jesus. And we all need to be aware that we all desperately need to keep our eyes on Jesus so that we don't start drifting away from him. But when we keep our eyes on him, on Jesus, we'll be planted in the good soil bearing good fruit. And we should never underestimate the impact that someone who faithfully and continually follows after Jesus has on those around them. This life is so short, so let's continue on in it and run the race with endurance, knowing that ultimately, if we will, then we'll spend eternity not separated from Him, 
but with him in his presence forever. So let this always be the declaration of our hearts. I've decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. If you're watching the Jordan Michael Tuesday show today, which you are, that was obvious, you should subscribe. We have uh, new content coming out every other week. Check out our other videos on the Jordan Michael Tuesday show. Lots of good stuff. Who do we want to say hi to? Marvin! Hi Marvin! Shake hands with Marvin! We're so thankful, Marvin, that you're watching the show and that you sent us an email. It always means a lot to us. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. And we'll see you next time on the... Jordan Michael Tuesday Show! Jabang! <laughs>